There we go, y'all. Nice, fine white meat. Let's give it a try. Yeah, that's fine. Not good. We need to put that on a cracker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. She's on. Get him up. Him up. That's a little bit better one there. Keep, keep short stroke. Get him, get him up. There you go. Any line you can take. Come on. Get him up. Got him. Come on. Oh, that's on, a baby. good one. You got him. Let's go, baby. Come on. Get him up. Y'all, we're about 12, 13 miles south of Dolphin Island. Y'all can see the ships right here. Okay, Using my favorite method of fishing here, chumming up with pogies, free lining. No weight. We on Mr. Potato Head's boat today. Yes, sir. The old tank. Okay. Trying to get us a quick lemon of snappers here. We got beet coming out. I ain't seen a fish yet. There he is. That's a good fish. Yeah, That's a nice beautiful good fish. Caitlin. Look at that. Nah, he's about the same size. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Money right here, baby. Beautiful fish right Two there. Two sails in the boat. Let's go. Nice. Look at this. Look at that. Get ready. Rebate, redrop, okay? Oh, no, there we go. Nice. Brian, what do you do with that knife? The knife? Get him up. There we go, y'all. Pretty fish on the free line, light tackle. I can't ever grab that. I ain't. I'm not talented. Oh. Get him up. There's structure down there. Come on. I'll grab that bail. Look at that fish. Look at that. That's a sow, baby. What I tell you? Turn him up. Turn nice him one, Shoot, that's a good uh, 15 pounder right there. Yeah, buddy. Uh, first. Woo! Yeah, that's, baby. <laughs> that's how we do. It. Uh, we. Oh my gosh. Brandon, get her. Get her set up. Uh, Come on, you got a bow up on him. Ah. Uh, huh? Proud of him. Why? That's a, that's a good little fish. Oh, oh, the fish. I thought you meant Cody. I was like, <laughs> why are we proud of Cody? <laughs> Where's your hooks at? Need to move. They're just messing with it. They're too little. Yeah, I'm gonna try and drop one more again. One more again. I mean, that water is pretty clear. It ain't too muddy. Yeah, it's just green. I would have definitely thought we'd have a lot more brown in here with all the, all the rain. There you go. Baby. I dare you judge that fish. You ain't seen him yet. <laughs> he might be 15. <laughs> I think he's going to be 17. Not 17. <laughs> <laughs> he's cute. That bait. Fish on. There you go. There you go. Might be a keeper, though. Yeah, baby. A little baby. He would be legal though. I think we'll catch some big ones though. Yeah. Oh, let me spit the bait first. Let's get back out, Cody. That chum. Right. right in the corner of the mouth, right where you want it. You? Give me my hook. <clears throat> All right, guys. We just went out a little bit further. Got some red snapper and uh, Mr. Potato Head here is putting us on some bee liners. Obviously, that's not a bee liner there, that's a red snapper. A little bycatch. But we got about 10 in the bucket here so far. Looks like we got some more coming up. Yep, yep. Nice one there. We got another one over here. Bee liner. Come on. Bee liner. There we go. Nice. They ain't the biggest bee liners, but some good little sandwiches. Good eating. See, just to make sure, excuse me, sir, right at 12 inches. They got to be 10 inches to be legal. How many is that in the bucket? Is that 10? Hooked up again. What you say there? Another B line, I think. Watch out. We are utilizing the Rodan trolling motor that he got. How you like it so far? 
Great investment if you can spare the cash for it. Yep. Wait, mine got off. So did. Either that or just, yep, he got, got off. off. Showing the rig that we're using here. Just using a little uh, high-low rig slash chicken rig, whatever you want to call it, with some uh, small circle hooks, a little six-ounce bank sinker. What we what we run is some four-aught demon. We we support that mustad demon. Yeah, four-aught demon. It's like land shark. <laughs> uh, Forty-pound liters. There's the box. We got them big snappers in there. We got a little couple smaller ones. If it's red, it's dead, baby. <laughs> if it's legal. All right, y'all, so this is what we're looking at here on the screen. We're in 116 foot of water, and I, th I believe this is natural bottom spot that we ran over one day, and uh, it's just really loaded up with bee liner. Not really any snapper, a couple trigger fish, pretty much every drop with some dead squidwards. Oh, my freaking eye is burning. I got some sunblock in it. Oh, that hurts. You know, I found one thing out wearing contacts. I was cutting up some uh, onion the other day, oh. and uh, I, I was like, you know, this is weird. My eye is not burning from cutting this onion up. And then uh, I went to the gym, you know, came back home later that night. I went to go take my contacts out, and it felt like somebody freaking squeezed lemon juice into my eyeballs. Uh -huh. It was horrible. Do you not wear contacts normally? Oh, I do. But I, that was the first time I'd cut up an onion wearing contacts, and then... Uh, Took them out. That's not a great beeline fishing. Not, yeah, rebate. not a great experience. Oh, would it be a red sned wrapper? Hey, BB. That is a beeline. BB. Here, let me be a deck hand. Be a deck hand, cook. Drop me back down. Here we go. It's good size in there. Decent. That's a sandwich. Put him on a loaf of wonder. Boy, I tell you what. We'll put that on a cracker right there. I'll put that on a cracker, dude. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these squidwards up here. It's a giant squid. Cut it in little strips. Small pieces of bait. All right, now we got some pretty squid baits for y'all. Come to Papa. We need more than a sandwich. I'm putting up a fight. You must have two of them. Let's hope so. Yes, yeah. Yeah, look yes. at that. Yeah. Woo, baby. Oh, baby. That, that bottom one's a stud. Okay, oh, yeah. That's what I like to see him come right off. Almost on my foot. <laughs> nice. There we go. Meat. Can you say meat? Can I get a meat haul? You got one? I think so. We don't need no thinking around here. Whatever uh, you think. That's a red snapper. Yeah, sned, red snapper. sned wrapper. He leave me a little bit of bait. That worked. Oh, my legs. <sighs> yeah, that's a good one there. All right, what's going on, y'all? It's the next day. We was pretty wore out yesterday after cleaning the boat and cleaning the fish and all that good stuff, but, uh, ooh, any stickers <laughs> anyways uh i did manage to get two of the throats out of the two big snappers that we caught so we're going to come up here throw it on the rec tech smoker grill show y'all how we prepare the fish how we cook them hopefully they turn out good so y'all stay tuned let's get it all right Cody, so tell us what you're doing here all right just cleaning up the grates on the pellet grill right now so tell us the difficult procedure to get it to the temperature that you want it to get to yeah, so you gotta make sure you, you got a decent power source at the time. And uh, you got a power button right there. Yeah. You pop that jugger on and you turn that knob to your set point. And then you walk away. That's uh, pretty hard to do. I don't know if I could do that. Honestly, bit. the hardest part, you know, is getting the pellets dumped in the thing. I mean, oh, you yeah? might be picking up 40 pounds oh, back up and sitting them in there. Yeah, that, that might be pretty difficult, y'all. Hard to say. But this right here, the smoke. That's what you want to see. Get started out. We're gonna be smoking these snapper for how long? You know, we're uh, really just gonna go for a look, and we'll measure the temperature when they start looking right. Ten four. We're gonna go inside, prepare the throats, and uh, show you all the season that we're gonna put on it, and get ready to throw it on the grill. All right, guys. So here's the throats right here. This was off the two big snapper that Caitlin caught, which is Cody's wife. 
And what we're doing right now is we're just kind of trimming the excess skin slash uh, you know, muscle, I don't know what you'd call that. Just keep some of that nasty stuff off the, uh, the meat. And y'all, if you're interested in learning how to take these throats out of the red snapper, I'll drop a link to a video somewhere up here. I have a video that I showed how to get the throats out of the snapper without using clippers. All right guys, what we're doing is uh, we're actually gonna score this uh, these throats a little bit. Some people would complain about the snapper throat being a little too fishy for them, but this will allow the season to get a little bit further down than the meat. Because that's the downside with the throat sometimes is you're only able to season you know, one side of the meat. That's why we did just a while ago. Kind of got some checkers action going on there just to help get the meat off the throat as well as get the season in the cracks because you're only able to season one side, obviously, because yeah. you have the skin on the other side. What you got? All right, so what we, some avocado oil, olive oil, whatever you got. Just, just some kind of binder we're gonna put on here. Just to help the season stick. You can use butter, olive oil. Just rub it in good, get it down the cracks. All your score marks if you chose to do that. So this is the two seasons we're gonna use. What is this right here? That's Cavender's all-purpose Greek season. Really good on fish and chicken. And then some Everglades fish and chicken. Uh, I haven't tried this personally yet, but you can see uh, Deer Meat for Dinner, Blue Gabe on YouTube, they're always using it. Says it's good, so we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna put this season on one and put the Everglades on the other. And don't be afraid to apply a lot of season because obviously, like I said before, you're only able to put season on one side of the fish. All right, guys, there is the finished product there. Two prepared snapper throats. We got the set point of the grill at 275. Right now it's 230. We're gonna go ahead and put them on there. All right, y'all, so we got them on the grill here. Just put them on. We're gonna check them about 15, 20 minutes, maybe put some butter on them, keep them moist. And uh, it all depends on how you want the throats cooked. If you want it cooked all the way, hour, two hours, depending on the temperature, your grill. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. That's what we're looking like here. We're gonna uh, get some of this butter. Just spray a little bit on there, just so it don't get too dry. Get it moist. Money. Jeff says they're done. They're at 155. I'm trying to I'm trying to act tough and grab them by the fins. Oh, ooh, I sure hope that don't run down my arm. <laughs> yeah, it's done. Man, that looks good. Oh, please don't run down my arm. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. Some perfectly cooked snapper throats. That's what you want it to look like right there. Still got some juice running out. You know what? This, look, this fin right here looks pretty good. Oh. Don't people eat like brim fins and stuff? They sure do. Give it a sample. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we don't eat snapper fins. But uh, let's grab a fork. A fork snap. Right here. Just digging through drawers over here. Which one should I try first? Well, let's try that Everglades. Oh, yeah. Right there. Yeah, I think scoring that meat definitely helped. There we go, y'all. Nice, fine white meat. Let's give it a try. Dude, that's fire. Am I good? We need to put that on a cracker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let me try this. All right, I tried the uh, the Everglades. We're gonna try the which one was this? That's the uh, Cavender's all-purpose Greek season. Oh, potato head! What you think? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm looking good. Yeah. We ain't got no crackers, so we can't put that on a cracker, dude. Nothing better. Hmm? 
That one's better. That one? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. All right, so Potato Head says this one is better, so I'll be the judge of that. I think they're equally good. Definitely different uh, taste. There's our master angler over there. She's gonna cook. She's the one that caught these big snappers. So, yeah, what have you? You don't know how to cook fish. Well, you know, I was being deck hand for once. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, if y'all throw these snapper throats away, don't give them to somebody who could do this right here because this is this is fine eating. A lot of meat on these throats too, and this could feed probably three people, I'd say, especially with some sides. It's about three. Put some corn and green beans or something on there. Mm -hmm. mm, some rice. But don't eat the fins. Ain't no good. Fins no good. <laughs> <laughs> decent? Decent? Yeah, you're a decent cook. Donkey, yeah. Fishing with Mr. Tater, or uh, cooking with Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, we'll call this Cooking with Tater Head, episode mm -hmm. one. Mini series. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I said, totally different. They're, they're totally different. They have a totally but equally different good, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can't follow me. Potato head. Your daughter is uh coming to the house with me. <laughs> I think so. All right, guys. Looks like I got to follow her down back to my house. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all drop a comment below and let me know if y'all uh, cook snapper throats and how y'all cook them. Also, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video. And uh, y'all be sure to hit that like button for me and subscribe if you're new. We'll catch you back out in the water next time.